Cause I'm a fool for your love channel so in today's video we are going to be doing this fall um, purpley mauve look I really really like the way this look came out and I'm going to be featuring some products from Focular Beauty um, I've been seeing this brand quite a few times on YouTube and the first youtuber that I saw mention this brand was actually Juicy Jazz I think that's her name I'll link her channel down below I've been watching her videos like constantly I really like her videos I like her content and I just find her really relatable like I feel like she's just a normal person even though she does have a pretty big following on YouTube. A lot of the bigger YouTubers that I used to watch I just don't really find relatable. I, I feel like my life is just so different from theirs. They all kind of look the same. They all kind of act the same. It's weird. But I really like her and I feel like she's just like a normal person. So I saw her use this brand and I was kind of interested and then actually funny enough they reached out to me like a couple weeks ago and were kind enough to send me the products that I'm going to be um, featuring in this video. Um, and yeah I wanted to test these products out see if they're good or not and um you know let you guys know my thoughts because it is a more inexpensive brand and there's so many inexpensive brands out there but some of them really aren't that good so I wanted to try this out um, and this is the palette that I use today it's the Sunrise Impressionism palette and it's very similar to the Huda Beauty I don't remember the name but the Huda Beauty palette it looks very similar to this um, and I actually wanted that palette for a really long time and then I kind of just forgot about it and then when they asked me if I wanted to try out their products I immediately was drawn to this one because like I said I wanted that Huda Beauty one for so long um, so I just couldn't resist but it's really really beautiful palette and there's a few other products that I tried out in this video so if you want to see my thoughts on this brand how this palette works how to get this look then definitely just keep on watching so starting off, I'm going to be using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. I'm going to use this color as my eyeshadow base. I'm just going to put a little bit on each eye. Originally, I was going to use the P. Louise base, but I'm not sure how dramatic I'm going to go with this, this look, and I feel like that is definitely a base for a more dramatic look. So this is kind of more of a safe eyeshadow base to use. Uh, because it does kind of dry down a little bit. It doesn't stay as tacky as the P. Louise. But I like to just use like a fluffy little brush like this one and just pat it into the eye area. So starting off, I'm going to be taking this color right here and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. This color is called Tenderly Light. Um, these shadows, first impression, are definitely powdery but to be honest that doesn't really bother me um, yeah so that's not really like a deal breaker for me or anything like that but let's see how this blends I'm not really a huge mauve person on me just because it does tend to come off really gray on my skin tone but I am NOT as tan as I was over the summer so maybe it won't be as bad but when I'm tan any shade like this definitely pulls a lot of gray on me so Hopefully it stays like true to the color that you see in the pan. Yeah, it's definitely, okay, yeah, so this is definitely showing up like pretty pink, which is good, which is what I wanted. By the way, please excuse this top. It's like supposed to go like this, but the collar just doesn't want to stay, so we're just going to let this top do whatever the hell it wants. <laughs> So I'm really enjoying this shade. I feel like this is like one of the first mauve shades that I've used that isn't pulling like a super gray tone on me. Like it's actually staying really pink, which is what I wanted. So that is perfect. Um, and this is blending really, really nicely. I am just using like a random blending brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. So nothing like special. As I blend towards the brow, I'm just kind of moving my hand back towards the end of the brush so I don't have as much pressure on the brush. 
I'm sorry if the lighting keeps getting like darker and lighter but I'm actually using a combination of natural light and my ring light so the sun keeps popping in and out which is annoying but whatever so I'm actually going to use this color right here and I'm going to use this to um, highlight my brow bone so yeah I'm just going to apply this color right underneath my brow And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just kind of mesh the crease color and the brow bone color together. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's just kind of like a nice cool tone purple. So I'm just focusing this like right in the crease area, um, slowly building up the color. Um, I will say it seems to be blending really nicely in with the first color that we used and it's also really pigmented. Um, like I feel like usually I would have to layer a color like this but it's um, going on like really pigmented right from the start so that's always a plus. Okay, so now I want to deepen up this look a little bit. So this shade is called Latte Please and it's basically just like a cool tone brown. And I'm going to switch on my brush to like a white haired little stiff blending brush. And I'm just going to use this to start deepening up this outer corner a little bit. As you can see, it just like deepened it up ever so slightly. Um, you know, it didn't make like a huge difference, but I still like the way it looks. I'm going to go in a little bit with this shade here, which is Chocolate Martini. And this is just more of like a warmer brown. And I just want to kind of put a little bit of that on the outer corner of my eye. So I find this shade is definitely a little bit more on the powdery side um, compared to the others. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like the pigments in this one are looser. I'm not really sure, but... Um, regardless, it still looks fine, so I don't really care. Okay, so now time for the lid color. I'm really leaning towards this Pinwheel Galaxy color right here. Um, it's just like a really pretty kind of mauve purpley pearl color. I don't really know how to describe it. Describing colors is not my forte, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to use that color. So in order to get the real pigment of this color, I'm going to actually use this NYX pigment primer. Basically, it's just like a clear little gel consistency and it's supposed to really pick up the pigments of shadows. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to work from there. So I'm just going to pick some of it up and I'm going to do one eye at a time because I don't want this to dry down while I'm working on one eye. So I'm just going to take the pigment and kind of map out where I want my lid color to go. You kind of want to let this get tacky for a second before you really go in and apply the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna start pressing the eyeshadow I am really loving that color I feel like it is just such a pretty color and the pigment um, primer is definitely a good call I feel like it just really helps the color stick to the lid so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other eye I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this color right here which is like very similar to the color we use, just like a few shades deeper. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the upper lid. Um, I definitely am excited to try this pal palette out and do more of like a brown and gold look, like with this color, this color, this color, and this color. Um, but yeah, we'll do that another day. Um, so the next thing I want to try out is this. This is the Super Fine Liquid Liner by the same brand. So this is what this looks like. It has like a super fine tip on it. So I'm very picky when it comes to liquid liner, but um, I don't know, this looks like it'll be pretty good, so I have high hopes for it.
I'm not really a fan of like pen liners, but um, this one, and I'm not just saying this, wait, this one's like actually good. I'm like really impressed because I usually, when I feel like whenever I use pen liners, I have to sit here forever and like go over the line a million times because I feel like it never gets that dark. But this is honestly pretty dark. And like you saw in the close up, like the tip on this is really fine. Um, and it really didn't take that long for me to create this wing. So I'm excited about that. I actually really like this and it was really not that expensive at all. Um, I actually feel like this is very comparable to my Ico um, pen that I use sometimes. It is very, very similar. So, and I know the Ico one is like way more expensive. So, yeah, I'm like actually really impressed by this. Because like I said, I really am not one to like pen um, eyeliners, but... Okay, so eyeliner's on. Again, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, yeah, I like it. I feel like it actually worked pretty well. Like I said, I'm not a pen eyeliner person, but it actually worked and went on pretty well. So the next step is a lower lash line, and I'm like torn if I want to do like a purple waterline or a bronze. Purple, I feel like he's going to make this look a little bit more fun. And the bronze one is like a little bit more wearable for fall. Alright, I'm actually going to do the bronze. I, I I don't know, I'm just feeling the bronze today. So I'm going to use MAC Teddy um, Eye Coal. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Latte Please. Um, and I'm going to use this to set the liner. Okay, so now I'm taking the color Tenderly Light, which was the first color that we used, and I'm just going to use that on a tiny little blending brush and just blend out the lower lash line. So, okay, so I want to do a little something on the inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to spray my pencil brush with um, some setting spray just to kind of dampen my brush. And I'm just gonna go in with the pink galaxy color because I actually really like that color. I feel like it's super pretty. So I'm gonna apply that on the inner corner. So I decided to add a little bit of this color only because I felt like the pink galaxy color just wasn't popping enough on the inner corner on its own. So that's why I decided to add that. I'm going to apply some random mink lashes that I have. Um, any kind of, I think like any kind of wispy, fuller lash will do for a look like this. I mean, it is pretty dramatic, so you don't want to go like too natural because then I feel like it just like wouldn't be balanced. But um, first things first, I'm just taking off the glue off the edges of my lash because there is a little bit of glue buildup. If you're wondering what lash glue I use, I use the glue um, by a brand called Callus. You can get it on, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Friends Beauty. Well, while those are kind of chilling and getting a little bit tacky, that glue doesn't really take that long to get tacky, so I am going to quickly highlight my face. I'm going to use the highlighter, again, by Focular Beauty, and this is what it looks like. So this is the Diamond Glow Highlighter, and as you can see, it's just this really pretty peachy color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this onto my cheekbones. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, it is such a pretty color. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. We'll move to the other side as well. I really like this tone for my skin tone because I feel like some highlighters can be like too dark and like too white on my skin, but this is like, 
such a pretty color and some down my nose and on the tip of my nose as well such a stunning highlighter wow that is de this is definitely going to be a new favorite i just love the color of it i love how it's like this peachy gold it's not like a white gold or anything like that because sometimes they're just like too light on me like i don't like that look um but i like i like the warmth of this one anyways i'm gonna pop on my lashes i am gonna go back in with the liquid liner and just cover up the lash band Alright, so let's move on to lips. So I do have two different lip products by them. Um, I have the Velvet's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ruddy Pink, which is like literally would be perfect with this look, I feel. Um, this is also a really pretty bridal color. I feel like this would be really, really pretty on a bride. But, or a bridesmaid. Because I feel like they always go for like the mauve pinky colors. And then I also have this lip crayon. Um, which is more like just like an everyday kind of nude brown color. But today I want to go with the Velvet Liquid Lip. So, I'm just going to take my Morphe lip liner in the shade in the shade Toasty, and I'm going to line my lips with this. By the way, if you don't have this lip liner, you need it. This is such a great fall lip liner to have. It's like a dark brown, but it has like a purple, um, like a purpley mauve undertone to it. It's so pretty. Okay, now let's apply this liquid lipstick. I'm just gonna like go like this just to mix it up in case. I do not know if this dries matte. I honestly have no idea. Um, I don't know if it's like, cause it's called a velvet. So I don't know if it dries matte or like stays kind of cushiony. And it feels like weird. I don't know. It's like, it feels like cooling when you first apply it. It doesn't feel cooling like once it's drying, but when you touch it to the lips, it kind of feels like cold. So I really do like the color of this. I feel like with this lip liner, I feel like it's like a really pretty fall color. If you're not into really bold lip colors for fall, but you you like the idea, idea of them and you would like to kind of test the waters and try out like a different lip color, I feel like this would be perfect because it is like a little bit deeper, but it's not over the top and I feel like it's very wearable. Like. I would wear this on like an everyday basis, honestly. Um, and the lip stick is drying down. Yeah, like it is drying down to more of a matte finish, but it is not a suffocating matte. It's not like a thick formula where I feel like my lips are like so dry. I like it because it's very thin and I personally prefer thin liquid lipsticks. That's why I really like Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, even Anastasia, but there is some inconsistencies with the colors. I feel like some colors are thicker than others, but this is really thin, so it feels very comfortable on the lips, and like I said, that's what I prefer when it comes to liquid lipsticks because I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person. I don't find them the most comfortable, so if I'm going to wear them, I like for them to be thinner, and I feel like this is really comfortable so so that is it for this look i actually really really like the way this came out i feel like it's actually a really pretty look for fall i thought that it was going to be super summery just by looking at the palette i was like i don't know i feel like it's going to end up being like a summery look but this is actually really really perfect for fall um overall i really do like this palette i'm really surprised with how they blended um they actually were blended really well. I really like this mauve shade because, like I said, a lot of mauves on me do pick up a lot of gray. This one really stayed true to color, which I really like. Um, and even, like, the shimmery shades, like, they 
look really beautiful. I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Everything, even down to the packaging, I really think it's such a cute looking palette. And yeah, I really like that. I also was really impressed with the liquid liner. Um, that is actually a really good liquid liner. I'm super impressed because I don't typically like um, pen liners. I just never really have, but this one actually is pretty good. Um, and I really like the liquid lipstick. I already talked about that. And lastly, I want to give a little shout out to this highlighter. I will definitely be using this on a daily basis. I really like, first off, it doesn't enhance any texture, which is always a plus. And I just really like the color of this highlighter. I'm glad that I chose this one because there were a few others. But I really like this. Um, pretty much everything was like an A plus for me. I really enjoyed all the products. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.